Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Phil Mouse and today I got some World at War gameplay for y'all. I don't even need to stress how much I miss this game. This is possibly my favorite Call of Duty of all time. It was the very first one I played. So uh, with that being said, it has a very special place in my heart and uh, I will always love this Call of Duty. I hate that it's so hacked and modded out. You know, some guy in the lobby was doing something uh, as you can see on the screen, but I don't know what he was doing because he wasn't flying around the screen and he didn't have like unlimited health or unlimited ammo or anything like that. So uh, I don't know what he was doing, but anyways, the gameplay is not why I'm here today. Why I'm here is because I want to start doing something that I don't do on my channel ever. And I see a lot of people do this and it's, it's cool, man. Like you just put up some gameplay and you tell a story or something. And that's one thing I don't do on my channel a whole lot. And actually, I, I'd have to go back and look at all my videos. But I don't recall me ever just, you know, telling y'all a story of something that's happened to me or uh, something of that nature, you know. And that's something that I really want to start doing more is telling y'all about things that happened to me in my life or uh, text messages that I get or crazy stories. And oh my god, the dogs. The dogs. Release the hounds. <laughs> Dude, I missed this game. But anyways, today I want to talk about a text message that I received on January 27th. And at first I thought it was a joke. Uh, but then I ended up getting no response. I tried to call this number. No answer. I tried to text them back. No answer. And it absolutely tripped me out. So... This is what it said. And it, it was it was random as hell. I, I woke up to this message. I, I received the message at 1239. I, I believe I woke up that day around 1 or 115 or something. So I woke up to this. And it said this. Hey man, I hid the body and the shovel. Mess wasn't as bad as we predicted. I gotta catch my flight in an hour. You wire the money yet. And I reply back, who is this? <clears throat> And dude, I never received anything else. And so, I don't know what I was... I, I don't know, like, a whole bunch of shit was rolling through my mind. Like, alright, first off, is this person being for real right now? Alright, and then another thing that you, you do when you get a weird text message or a weird call, you look at the area code to see if it's in your area code or if it's in an area code that you recognize. And... It was. It actually was in an area code that I recognize. I'm from Arkansas, and the Arkansas area code is 870, and it was an 870 number, so I was like, alright, it's just somebody from Arkansas fucking with me. Alright. <clears throat> well, if you have an iPhone, and if you don't, I will tell you this. If a strange number calls you that you don't have in your phone, when they're calling you or you call that number, it will tell you where it's from. And, like... <clears throat> if it was from Decatur, Alabama, and you didn't have it in your phone, and I called you, it's going to say, my number, Decatur, Alabama. So, anyways, with that being said, I call it, and it's so fucking weird, dude, but it is actually from the city that I was born in, that I lived in until I was four years old. It's where I was born at. My mom and dad lived there majority of their lives. And so, right now, I'm like tripping balls, and I'm like, holy shit, I don't even know anybody down there. Because, like I said, <clears throat> I lived there until I was four, so I, I never made no friends down there, and I hardly ever went back down there, uh, you know, unless it was with my mom or something to go visit my mama and papa. But, I don't have any friends down there, and I mean, I do have some family still down there. My mama and papa live down there. My two, one of my aunts lives there or around the area. I, I don't know exactly where she lives at. And I have two cousins. And I don't think they have my number or anything like that. And I called my cousin Carly. And I said, hey, is this uh, Corby or Brody's number? You know, somebody's fucking with me. And she was like, no, that's not their number. So right now, I'm like tripping balls. And I'm like, well, <laughs> who in the hell could be sending me this text message? And now... Since I haven't got a response, and they didn't answer the phone when I called them, I'm I'm kind of like weirded out right now. Like, holy shit, what if what if this is for real? What if somebody literally just hid a body and buried the shovel? You know, like 
and I'm thinking, what do I do? So I call my mom. Well, first off, I, I, I show my brother it. And he was like, whoa, dude. And he was like, uh, you might want to call the Magnolia. It's Magnolia, Arkansas number. He said, you might want to call the Magnolia Police Department and let them know about it. That way, in case it does happen to be uh, for real, you know, that your name is cleared and all this baloney. So I was like, all right. So I called him. And this guy actually called him back. And he, he tried to call this number. And he never got an answer. And he called me back. And he said, just don't worry about it. He said, if they call you back or text you back, call us back and let us know. And I was like, all right, thank you. All right, well, my dad, I ended up telling my mom about it, and I guess she told my dad. And <clears throat> my dad called me, and me and him discussed the matter. And he told me I needed to call the police department of the city that I live in. And I was like, well, what the hell are they going to do about it, Dad? And he was like, well, just, just in case. And I was like, all right, I feel you. I get what you're saying. And so I... I called him and I got no answer, weirdly. I was at work and I tried to call him. It was like 10 or 11 at night and I got off at 12.30, I believe. So I went up to the police department after I got off and I showed this guy this and I was like, man, I'm just, I'm doing what my dad told me to, you know, just a precaution. And he was like, oh man, it's cool, man. We just, we get numbers like this all the time. There ain't really nothing we can do about it. And I asked him, I was like, man, do y'all not got a way of, like tracking the number can y'all not track the number he was like no we don't have anything like that and i'm like dude y'all are the fucking police like how how do you not have what it takes to track a number and see who owns the phone like that's bullshit and i tell you what after that i called my dad back and i told him i said dad i was like this is fucking pathetic i said the police the police department is just a bunch of fucking assholes. I said, they don't want to help nobody. They do whatever the fuck they want. I said, fuck this. I said, they piss me off. And he pretty much agreed. He told me, he said, don't worry about it. And he said, fuck them if they're going to be that way and not, you know, care to help, you know, uh, one of the uh, town's people. And I was like, yeah, whatever. Well, anyways, that is all that I got out of it. Tell me what you think in the comments below. What if you received a text message like this? What would you do? What would you think? Especially if it was from your hometown. That's what freaked me out the most. But anyways, comment below what you would do if you received that text message. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you would like to hear more stories from me. I really want to start doing these kind of things, so hopefully everybody will uh, be all for it. And thank you for stopping by the channel, and as always, we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.